So if your family is thinking about moving into Chesapeake, specifically the Grassfield School District, then this video is definitely for you because today I'm going to be taking us through several different neighborhoods that are all part of that highly sought after Grassfield School District. another episode of Real Estate in the 757. My name is Jennifer Stimson. I'm a realtor here in the Hampton Roads area with Remax Alliance on the Dahl team. And today it's all about Grassfield School District. So we're going to be in several different neighborhoods showing you each of them and telling you a little bit about each of the neighborhoods as we go. Um, if you are thinking about moving to this area, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Um, we've got lots of different neighborhoods, lots of different information to share with you. We come out with a new video each and every week. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. And hey, if I can help you, you can call me, text me, or email me. I would love nothing more than to help you find a new place to call home. All right, so first up is New Mill Landing. So these homes were built in 1998, so just over 20 years old. Most of these homes have four bedrooms and two and a half baths and average about 2,500 square feet. And these homes back through here sell for the high 300s and are just, you know, these lots are good size. Um, it's a great neighborhood. It's not a huge neighborhood by any means, um, but substantial to where you would really be able to connect with the families back through here. Um, and just a really pretty little neighborhood. All right, so now we are in Mariner's Point and this neighborhood actually connects right beside New Mill Landing. And as you can see, these homes are a little bit larger. These are the all brick homes. 3,000 to about 3,500 square feet, I would say is probably pretty average throughout this neighborhood um, with a little bit higher price tag. So these are gonna start in about the 450 range up to probably around the 600s to be honest. Uh, but gorgeous homes through here. Lot sizes are close to half an acre, um, maybe even a little bit more through here and some do back up to some water. I should also mention that there is an HOA in here of about $47 a month. So you just need to be aware of that because there will be some rules and regulations to learn and kind of, you know, follow <laughs> as you live in this gorgeous, beautiful neighborhood. So next up is Summer Park. And these are custom Stephen Alexander homes, the farmhouse cottage style homes, and they are just breathtaking. If you've ever had the pleasure of going into some of their homes, you'll see that their attention to detail is unlike any other. It's just truly spectacular from the floors all the way up to the ceilings. Nothing is left um, without attention to detail and just they're just so beautiful on the inside. You'll find four, five, and six bedrooms through here, 2,700 square feet to about 3,500 square feet, although there are a few that I believe hit about 3,700 square feet, and they run in the mid 400s, upwards of 600,000. Um, but here's a little fun fact, Stephen Alexander is not one person. They're actually brothers, Stephen and Alexander, and I just love their custom homes, that farmhouse cottage style, and they by far are my absolutely favorite builder in our area. So welcome to Marsh Creek. This neighborhood um, has some homes that were built about 20 years ago, but there are some newer kind of sections that were built in 2016, 2017. Um, but most of the homes through here are about 2,400 square feet to just over 3,000, maybe 3,200 square feet. Mostly four bedrooms, but you will find some five bedroom, three bath homes back through here. They range from about 390,000, upward of about maybe 460, and there is no HOA through here. We'll also
also let you know that towards the back of this neighborhood is where Grassfield Elementary is located. Um, so it's just a really great family friendly neighborhood. Now there are not sidewalks throughout the entire neighborhood, but you do still have large open streets. So you do still feel safe to get out with your kids, go for a bike ride, walk the dogs, or just go for a nice walk. All the neighborhoods that we are looking at today um, feed into Grassfield Elementary, Hugo Owens for middle school, and then Grassfield High School. All right, and we're wrapping it up in Dominion Meadows. This is a gorgeous newer neighborhood that is just down the road from Grassfield High School. And these homes back here are just stunning. I've had several friends live back in this neighborhood and I just always loved their homes. They were built um, back in 2016. Actually, there's still some sections being built now and are four, five, and even some six bedroom homes back in here. Uh, but just really gorgeous homes. You've got sidewalks throughout the entire neighborhood. The only drawback I would say is because it's a newer development, you don't have the established trees throughout. And I do love a good treed neighborhood. But other than that, I mean, gosh, what is there not to love? These homes are just stunning. So most of these homes back here are gonna be in the low 400 range, from about 400 to 430. And there is an HOA back here and you'll be paying about $65 a month for that. All right, so there you have it. We've been through several really great neighborhoods that all feed into the Grassfield School di District. Did you see any that maybe you could consider living in? Well, if so, your next step is to give me a call. I would love to help you find a new place to call home. And you know what? We've only scratched the surface. There are so many neighborhoods to see, so much yet for us to explore together. But give us a call, we'd love to help you. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please make sure that you do that and hit that like button and show us some love. Until next time.